Hello, welcome back everyone. This is part three of this editing session and we'll be taking a look at this photo. You can find the links to parts one and two in the description and the remaining videos showing the rest of these edits will be posted soon, so be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, let's get started with this shot. I just love this uh, tiled wall with her dress with the geometric shapes because it just fit in so nicely and we didn't even plan that, it just happened to be there. So, surprise, surprise, I still like butterscotch. So a lot of these things, like say you like most of the look of cotton candy, but you don't like how this is purple, that is so easy to just go over here and dial it to the hue you want. So that's how I tend to operate when it comes to presets. And you know what? Because we already have it, let's just stick with, was it cotton candy? Yeah, let's stick with that. So I all I've done so far is moved the purple over to the blue side. And I do want to just get that perfectly right blue tone. And then I do like how the, the red looks a little bit more orange, but I'm going to desaturate it just a tad. Going to brighten the whole thing up while decreasing the highlights. Maybe desaturate it all a little bit and warm it up. Okay, let's add some lens corrections, which helped a little bit with this vignetting and the distortion. And let's adjust the yellow. It's too desaturated. And that looks about right. What about our red shadow tone? I like quite a bit of red in here. Just need to brighten it up a little more. I'm really making it low contrast because we're going for that pastel faded look. And her skin is looking pretty good. I'm just going to get rid of this little distracting object as well as this discoloration. And this crack is not totally necessary to remove, but I'm going to try. And if I was spending more time, I mean, it already looks good, but like I might go and more precisely do that. Okay. Um, the blues are good, but I kind of want them darker and more saturated. Uh, maybe not darker, I don't know. Okay, um, let's really just take all of this stuff at the dark side up to make it look really uh, faded. So this is where we started, this is where we are. Some might say this looks overexposed, but um, in my opinion, I mean, all the highlights are intact. It's not like there's any part that's blown out. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's all a matter of style. Like it might be more natural to have everything like, you know, somewhere around there, but I just really like this bright washed out look and I don't think it's like badly washed out but that is my opinion so it's all about style anyway I think that's where we will leave this one okay well thanks so much for watching you can find the link to the presets I used in the description and be sure to come back for more editing videos